This is a Street Fighter 2 collab? Get out of here. What? This is a Street Fighter 2 collab sneaker with Adidas. What's up everybody? It's your boy Tabrin, AKA Get Gully, and this is Game Gear. On Game Gear, we review, unbox, unpack, and unwrap all things Hypebeast and gaming related. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at two shoes modeled after two of the most iconic video game characters of all time. And today, we're gonna to be kicking it with Mr. Slick Living himself, Cleo Thomas, Utel, and Demo, as they'll help us review today's items, which are the Adidas Chun-Li Lexicon and the Adidas Ryu Oswego. This collaboration pairs Adidas and Bait with the best fighting game of all time. Don't at me. Bait, the West Coast boutique, and Adidas, the German sportswear giant, teamed up for the Street Fighter collection, which features apparel and new look versions of two classic sneakers from the 1990s, the Oswego and the Lexicon. Street Fighter is a Japanese competitive fighting video game franchise developed by Capcom in 1987. The best-selling release, Street Fighter II, established many of the conventions of the one-on-one -on -one fighting genre. Street Fighter is one of the highest grossing video game franchises of all time and is Capcom's flagship series, totaling sales of over 47 million units worldwide. The Ryu Oswego, also released in December 2021, these can still be found for retail at $140. The Three Stripe Adidas trademark features Japanese characters that, to be honest, I don't know what they mean. But if you know what they mean, please drop it in the comments and let me know because I'm dying to find out. Featuring a mostly white mesh upper, Accents of gray and red are used throughout the shoe, similar to Ryu himself. My favorite feature has to be the Hadouken tutorial on the heel tab, straight fire. I've been a fan of Street Fighter my whole life, and these shoes managed to capture my childhood love of Street Fighter and my adult love of sneakers. With the scheduled release of Street Fighter 6 in 2023 that features new game modes and hyper smooth gameplay, you better believe I'm gonna be on that. So today, I brought in some of my friends in gaming to do a blind review of these sneakers to see what they think. Let's check it out. Yo, these are, wow. Ooh, okay. Okay, all right, these are big different. These are Street Fighter joints? These are tough. Nah, these are crazy. Got a big Shoryuken upon your head top, you feel me? Big Hadouken on y'all. Is it Ryu or Ryu? Mm, okay, see, as cool as it sounds, I feel like it's supposed to look a little cool. I don't know why though. Obviously these are, you know what I'm saying, based on the iconic character Ryu, um, one of the best. Top five, top 10? Let me know in the comments. One of the top five, 10 video game characters of all time? Where you putting Ryu? Is this Ryu? This has to be Ryu's sneaker. Okay, now that I'm looking at it a little differently, if now that I've come to that realization that it's Ryu's sneaker, it makes sense. It's very Yeezy reminiscent. Um, but most of them have released in all solid colorways. So seeing it like good color blocking on this shoe, again, kind of gives off Jordan color vibes. When you match those, you mix those colors together, you can't go wrong. These are fire, bro. It's a little weathered. There's this different tone as far as between the toe box and the side right here. You gotta think what Ryu's fit looks like. He's in a full uh, gi. He's got, the, uh, he's got the red bandana as well. He's always the black belt, okay. All right, all right, I judged it early. I, I've come to a realization that it actually is a fly sneaker. They're dope because they're like uh, a streetwear shoe, a little bit with Adidas, but they also have that like high fashion feel. They're kind of like, you know what I'm saying, lower to the ground, chunky sole. So yeah, these as we goes hit. The Chun-Li Lexicon released in December 2021, retailed at $140 and surprisingly, they're still available for retail even now. The shoe features a predominantly blue upper and several dope features that pay homage to the queen of kick herself, Chun-Li. I really like how Adidas used the trademark three stripes and added the spikes that resembles Chun-Li's battle bracelets. The midsole also features a brown checkerboard pattern that resembles Chun-Li's thighs. The insoles are highlighted with 16-bit stylized images of the game and the character that really adds to that retro flavor. If these are another Street Fighter collab and they're Blanca, I swear to God. <laughs> All right, here we go. And this is different. This is a well thought out design sneaker. The fact that they've added the spikes because those are her wrist gauntlets in the game. I have no words. These are crazy. This is big Chun-Li energy, right? Like this is big Chun-Li energy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kicks. 
know what I'm saying? Um, good kicks workouts, good thigh work. You know what I'm saying? You can't, it's not, don't front like y'all wasn't crushing on Chun-Li. Yeah, Chun-Li for years has been every boy's dream. You know how many times I've seen this character cosplayed specifically? So the next time I wanna see whoever's cosplaying in these damn shoes right here, because these are fire. I don't know, like the functionality of wearing spikes is kind of crazy. I don't want to just hit somebody by accident and just end up, you know what I'm saying, puncturing their leg or something. Like as a fan of Street Fighter, as a fan of Chun-Li, I would 100% rock these. These are cool. I love the detailing of the spikes. Very smart move for whoever designed these. So there you have it. What about you? Y'all feeling these? Let us know in the comments how you feel about these sneakers and what sneakers should we take a look at next? And don't forget to join the conversation on our Discord and remember to follow us at GWB Show on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok to find out live updates on what's going on in the GWB studios. Thanks for watching Gang Gear. I'm your host, Tabron. I'll holler at y'all next time.